Let's hope this works. <laughs> Round two. Everyone crafts everything. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're back now live. Hopefully this works. We're going to see. I don't know what happened there. We were getting crazy feedback. So thanks for thanks for waiting for us. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for bearing with us. Oh. I'm going to give, give people a chance, I guess, to find this link. Um, we had to do a whole new link, which is crazy. Can everybody hear us now? Let us know in the chat. If you guys can hear us. Ryan, are you guys good yeah. on feedback? Yeah, so far no feedback, so I think we're okay. Yay, win. But it took a little while last time. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> give, give, give YouTube a second. YouTube's really Never good at that. Uh... <laughs> Trial and error. Oh my error. gosh, guys, it's been a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, we're back. All right, everybody's, everybody, I think, is refining the link. So. Yes. Okay, cool. Yay. All right, let's try that again. Guys, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys don't know us, if you're new to our channel, we are the Rally Rootses, and Callie is also part of our team. Hey. We are online resellers. We sell on platforms like eBay and Amazon, and we're joined by the amazing Chaz and Trista from Side Hustle Pros. You hey, guys everybody. What's up, guys? Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. Uh, my name's Chaz. I'm Trista. And we are Side Hustle Pros. Um, <laughs> we, we do a, a lot fewer things now. Um, so primarily we're trying to get into full time just hustling the reselling game um, and not so much all the thousands of other side projects we had going on over the years. Um, I'm a former massage therapist. I still do health and fitness coaching um, and I'm trying to just focus on reselling and coaching right now. Um, and for you, you come yeah. from a different background. I, I'm medical and or I came from the medical background, but um, Charles is crazy and <laughs> jumped two feet first into this reselling game and um, I came with him. So uh, I am I get to be a stay-at-home mom because of this. So it's so exciting that I get to hang out with my son and nice. he'll be three in December, which is crazy. Mm. It, like totally blows my mind. Yeah, um, that's really cool. We were actually just talking about that, like how great it is to um, not only to be able to like to resell and make money, but also to be able to set our own schedules and do stuff like like my, my little brother turned 21 um, last last week mm -hmm. yeah and it was on a Monday and you know if we were if we had nine to five jobs or something like that we wouldn't be able to spend that time with the family so it's been pretty cool it's good yeah yeah, yeah for sure and um, right now we're in our garage but we're looking at uh, warehouse spaces soon hopefully nice. awesome. I will kind of miss the flexibility that my son can just be like in the house watching TV or playing and I can work out here for a few mm -hmm. hours so like I'm gonna miss that but the like you said like the flexibility is insane oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Really great. that's cool guys and then how long have you been resellers like, um, yeah, so we have kind of a different story because like the, the I feel like YouTube as a community especially Instagram too it's very eBay focused. Yeah. Um, I sent in my first shipment to Amazon actually. So I was, I was Amazon for a year before we even tried eBay. Um, so oh, wow. Trista is the one that yeah. got me into that. So I sent in my first shipment almost exactly two years ago. Um, th okay. Thanksgiving nice. Day is my first item that I sold online. So almost two years. And then she quit her job a year and a half ago and, and started the eBay side and drug me into it. Now I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is opposite. Usually people start on on eBay and then yeah. switch to Amazon or add in Amazon. I'm going to take a picture and put it on Instagram. <laughs> Don't mind me. Now that we're back, no more technical difficulties. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so, so now that you've been doing eBay and Amazon, do you have a preference of which one you like more? Uh, it depends on the time of year. Summertime. <laughs> right now it's Amazon, am I right? Right now it's Amazon. Right now it's Amazon. <laughs> so... Yeah, Amazon primarily, um, but summertime was this summer. Like I said, she drug me into eBay. I used to be the one that's like, after doing Amazon, and we do, <laughs> we only do FBA, and that means that yeah. we don't store products and we don't ship them ourselves. Yeah. We send everything to Amazon; they do the rest. So that's the part right. I loved was it was pretty hands off. I, my job was just to hunt, um, so I love that aspect. So I hated eBay because I didn't want to store things, I didn't want to ship things, and, and deal with customers. And then she got into clothing. Yeah, I think it was when you first like did the math and you're like, "Hey, babe, I did a thousand dollars this month." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> nice. From close, from close, from close. So that first moment is when it kind of clicked, and so this summer was the first time going into garage sales with an eBay mindset. Yeah, and that hunt 
Man, that was eBay during the summer times because for those that don't know, we're located in Portland, Oregon. Um, so we have rainy season from right now up until basically next spring. So Whoa. our garage sales, they're non-existent. Yeah, we, we don't, don't get have to garage, garage sale sales. anymore. So yeah. eBay during no the garage sale season was my favorite. <laughs> no. Yeah. And you're pretty much all eBay you love. Yeah, so and I love <laughs> eBay. I I think it's so easy, and I don't know why it took him so long to get on board with it. <laughs> True. I was you know, it's, really drug him in kicking and screaming, but now he likes so it. Funny. I, I love that though. I mean, it's, I think the more, the more like avenues, the more eyes you can have on your items, the better, you know? So we, we only, we're kind of the same as you. We only do eBay and Amazon FBA. Um, mm -hmm. So same kind of thing, but we started in eBay and then we moved into Amazon and now we're pretty, I would say almost 50, 50 in both at this point. So yeah. it's, it is really good. That's a really, really good point, guys. If you're watching this video and you don't do both, I would highly suggest into looking in, at both avenues because they both have such amazing benefits. You know what I mean? Like w the one thing that I will say is if you like to sell clothing, then eBay is amazing because you can't sell used clothing on Amazon. Um, if Amazon sold used clothing, we probably wouldn't do any eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because Amazon FBA, once you get it going, it's so much easier to scale that. And again, like you said, you don't store inventory and stuff. Yeah. We have a we have a big warehouse in Tampa because we have to store the inventory um, for eBay. So it is a huge, huge benefit there to Amazon over eBay. But eBay is amazing because you can walk into a, a thrift store or a garage sale and you can get the kind of margins where you pay a dollar for something and sell it for 50, 60 bucks, which is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So yeah. our rule for eBay at this point, and it, it changed, it's changed over, you know, the last year and a half, but I used to just, whatever I could find that would turn any kind of profit, right. I would buy it for eBay. And now our, our rule, and I'm not sure it, maybe I stole this from you or another reseller, but I have to five times my money on that on that item to nice. just eBay. Nice. nice, nice. That's so, good. I mean, that's good because you have to remember, guys, with eBay, you're taking pictures, you're listing the item, you're shipping yeah. the item, you're doing customer service, you're handling returns. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that goes in. So yes, that's a very, very yeah. good point. Wait, how many people are watching right now? Someone just said <laughs> in the chat. Oh, good. Okay, Whoa, people are awesome. back. Yay. 230 right. people watching right now. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you for finding this link. <laughs> Thank you for having technical difficulties. Yeah. We're not like super technologically savvy when it comes to the people hanging out. I mean, there's waters everywhere right here. I almost spilled my drink. Guys, thumbs thumbs up for trying. <laughs> <laughs> and thumbs up for rocking Christmas bear sweaters, right? Yes, sweater game. If you guys didn't see the video that we posted, I think I posted it this morning actually. Um yesterday we went to we went garage sailing wearing ugly Christmas sweaters, like four of us all together so good. and the one thing that I will say it's so funny because people like even if they're in a bad mood they cannot be in a bad mood when they see people. <laughs> it's impossible especially like in November it's not even Thanksgiving yet like yeah. Yeah, four people rock it up Allison was playing Christmas music underneath her sweater <laughs> A couple of people were like, is your sweater playing music? Yeah. And I just responded with, yeah, I installed Pandora on my sweater. It's pretty technical. <laughs> you know, there's an app for that. There's, so there's an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, so fun. Cool. So did you guys um, actually speak of- rare Christmas tank. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> actually, that's a good point. Alice, so Allison, um, just listed the Christmas tanks that we wore in that video on eBay. So Ryan's Christmas tank. Oh, just and then our one? Okay. No, no, no. Yours is a Christmas tank. You said Christmas oh, tank. Oh, Christmas we were items. We wear sweaters, but you yes. were wearing a tank. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a it's a vest according to Cali, but it's a tank if I'm wearing it. It's a tank if you're wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to buy the items, the Christmas items that we wore in that video, you can go buy them on our eBay. We'll put a link in the chat or something. But <laughs> but it was fun. It's one of a kind. <laughs> yeah. And then that the money the money that we get from that we'll give to a charity, probably like ASPCA or something. It's like, gonna go to the puppies. We like doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Save the puppies. Good. So do you guys let's show some of the stuff that we got. Um we got garage sailing yesterday and then we'll talk about 
we'll talk about a few different things. Yesterday was interesting because we got a very a wide range of stuff, and I think that that's yeah. that's important for people to see as well because a lot of people who watch our channel they only sell clothing, um, or they only sell shoes, or they only sell electronics, or they're very uh, niche specific and the <laughs> unicorn mug. <market. laughs> <laughs> For us, you know, I think one of the reasons why we've been able to grow so so quickly in reselling um, and grow our business so fast is because we're not picky with what we sell. As long as it's a as long as it's a hot item and we can sell it for profit, we're going to sell it. We're not like you know we only want to sell vintage clothing right. or we love selling vintage clothing. But listen, if a you know if if there if this cup is worth a hundred dollars and I can get it for twenty five cents, I'm buying it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think it's important to diversify what you guys are looking for and, and keep your mind open. So that's important. So I'll, let's show you some of the stuff that we found. What's that, babe? It's a Garmin GPS. Mm. Uh, you found this, actually. I did find that. Yeah, you yeah. found this. This is, a, um, this is a Garmin brand GPS 72 personal navigator. It's kind of glary. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's very glary. But it's but it's new. It's sealed and, and new. Um, and again, this is another reason why it's good to sell on both Amazon and eBay. Because mm -hmm. this item we're restricted on Amazon. We're not allowed to sell Garmin, the brand. I don't I don't think we can sell. I think it's everything Garmin we're not allowed to sell. But um, so if, if we were only Amazon sellers, we would have left this. Right. But we also check the price on eBay. And these things sell for 150 bucks on eBay. So it was marked fifteen dollars. We ended up paying ten bucks for it, and they're very, very quick flippers because it's a really good brand. <clears throat> so and we just got some bids. <laughs> did people just bid on nice. the ugly Christmas <laughs> sweaters? Awesome. You guys yes. are crazy. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> That's a really good point, Ryan. We used to sell a ton of Nike on Amazon, and then when Amazon and Nike got together and changed everything, I was out. I'm like, I'm not touching like, that. That's not worth our <laughs> oh, yeah. Account. But we already had this eBay account already established, so we just put all of our inventory on eBay. Yeah, how important is that to be able to roll with the punches? Oh, it's it's a hundred percent. Yeah, like yeah. I've you know we run we run FBA Rockstars on Facebook, which you guys are familiar with, yes. and uh, so we've got forty thousand sellers in there that are only Amazon. And I again before eBay, I was that same mentality of if it I can't sell it on eBay or uh, Amazon, then well crap, I can't sell it. Right. And the second that I started checking eBay, so I, I do a lot of 90s electronics. I love that category. Yeah. So uh, our garage sale wars, right? That was like a big thing. Oh, I love um, it. So 90s electronics, I was getting some returns on. I'm like, well, crap. I just, I you know, I lost out on that sale. I got the, the uh, my account was taken, the, the money was taken out of there. And I thought I would have to just donate it back to Goodwill where I probably bought it from. But then I realized, well, why don't I check eBay? And they were selling for just as much, and some of them Sometimes more. Sometimes more. Oh, yeah. The that's second true. I sold my first electronic on eBay that was stale inventory for Amazon, that's when it yep. kind of started to click to yep. diversify. So that's that's 100%. Yep. You've got to learn to roll with those punches. 100%. Absolutely. Just because it doesn't sell on eBay doesn't mean it's not going to sell on Amazon. And the reverse is true. Just because something doesn't sell on Amazon doesn't mean it won't sell on eBay. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, like always chasing the money. It's fun. Yeah. It's it in the chase. <laughs> treasure hunting. Yeah, <laughs> it is. We're like modern day treasure hunters. Yeah. 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 And I want to say that we just got quite a few bids. We did on, <laughs> on my <laughs> team. Yeah. You, guys, yes. you, guys really oh, you guys are amazing. Everyone's That's so awesome. Supportive. You can't watch that either. You just have to. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. I think that's against eBay's policies. I'm sure you get a little bit of Ryan Musk with every person. Oh, man. <laughs> little, little Musk. oh my gosh. So did you guys did you have anything you wanted to show that would be a, like a yeah, we got it. You guys are asking things. us at the worst time. I know oh. we've just been like busy. We we were gone on vacation and our garage sale season's over so yeah. we're like that's okay, not well, that, good what about what Delta. about what about this and what is your favorite t like type of item or category of item to sell on amazon this time of the year in quarter four toys, toys. <laughs> toys? <laughs> yeah. so we we do have a few things that, that we do have that we haven't listed yet we haven't yeah. yet so we have a few things to show you but with that i will say like right now i am i am deep as can be on toys for amazon just because they're 
I'm picking up stuff that is selling the second it checks into Amazon. I know. Wow. That's crazy. And I'm Seriously. going really deep on a few SKUs. Nice. Uh, Good. And obviously for, for, uh, for YouTube reasons, having large audiences, we can't share <laughs> yeah. what those items are. But, um, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys one bolo for, to look out for, for Amazon, a little freebie. Okay. Go to your go to your Walmart or Target or wherever they are and load up on Tamagotchis if you can yes. if you can sell them. <laughs> Don't drive the price down. Don't no. drive the price down. I swear <laughs> I, I'll find you. <laughs> You'll be banned. <laughs> we can all share in the in the profit of Tamagotchis. There you go. What, were you guys a little sad when is it their twentieth anniversary? Is that what this is all about? Don't say that. Oh. Don't. Listen. I know. It why like, do you, feels so bad. Why do you? Why do you got to bring that up? This is. Just got another <laughs> <laughs> You're older now. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. You are my, definitely older now. Now I definitely feel it. Right. My younger brother turns 21. My other brother's turning 18. Uh, yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> yeah. For sure. No, we got a cool, a couple good things. I like these. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> so Trista found these. Was it Goodwill? Yeah. <laughs> These are like, sorry, guys. Oh my, the, the, my Chris, the Christmas vest is up to thirty bucks already. Oh <laughs> it's amazing. It's so great. All right, yeah. sorry. Talk about Minnie Mouse. <laughs> um, Whoa. I don't even know what year these were. These are. They're old. They're old. I, I still actually haven't really researched them very well yet. Yeah, they don't so. even have a date on them. These are like the original sippy sippy cup straw. I remember oh, cool. those. Yeah, yeah. Those like their awesome. heads pop off. It's kind of fun. <laughs> See? Oh. I know. I remember having one of these. That's I remember why we having one them. too. So yeah. I, I, I really just bought it because of nostalgia purposes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but those are pretty cool. Um. I do the bins a lot, so um, like I said, I like to make sure that I'm at least five times in my money when I'm putting stuff on eBay. Right. So easy to do that if you're spending 50 cents on one item. Sure. So a um, couple things I got, let's see. And I still don't Please. even know the clothing game, so she comes home with literally like 50 pounds of clothes. <laughs> yeah. She's like, babe, look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. I'm like, I'm dressing. Listen, re respect, because Listing clothing on eBay takes a lot it of work. Does. Yeah. It does. It takes some time. And I have a helper now, so that's Oh good. Awesome. Yeah. Good. And as you soon know. as your as soon as your son gets older, there's some free labor, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be nice. We're still trying to teach our, our puppies how to list for us. It doesn't <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> not going well. <laughs> Most of just up. Yeah, in the past, we've tried, you know, lay stuff on our floors, and the dogs were like, oh, well, let me help. I'm going to sleep. Right? As soon as you put something on the floor, both the dogs are like, oh, new bed for us. Yay. Let me lay on that for you. Yeah. Here we go. So you help me with, with things, and usually it's less help than yeah. <laughs> it's like, mom, I do this for you. And then there's just, there's stuff like, there's usually, so sometimes we'll pick up a ton of shoes. And he'll just like have them all over the garage and all these different places. And nice. <laughs> I'll literally say, Titus, please take those shoes and put them on that table, literally right next to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'll have one of his toys, like an opening on the next. Yeah. Next That's so cool. So, what do you you found some? Were those like children's shoes that you had? Oh there? yeah. So these are just like some little Kenneth Cole reaction. They're little. Oh my goodness. Are those the cutest little? Where's my? <laughs> I think I have the adult version of this. <laughs> no, I'm that. almost positive. <laughs> so those will go for about fifteen, and I I paid uh, about. That's so good. You them. know what's so funny about those shoes? You see how the rubber wraps around in the back? Yes. That makes them driving shoes. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're toddler yeah. driving shoes. Nice. So the rubber is but there, so you can put your foot on the on the ground and. Press oh, the pedal like that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's why like the Pumas. That's why Pumas are usually like that. Oh, that's why. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that in my title. Thanks, Ryan. Dollar striving shoes. Dollar striving shoes. The other thing I really like about the bins is that it forces me to look up these brands that I would normally not, or I'd just pass them up, you know, at a regular yeah. thrift. So this is a brand that I had never heard before. It's called Icy by Connie K. And it's just a, it's just a jacket, but the used comps are going for about forty dollars. Oh, Not nice! Yeah. Nice. So, cool. Um, I found some Eileen Fisher. I don't know how much of this you guys want to see, but um, I found some Eileen Fisher, yeah, which is always is. a pretty <laughs> fast sale. 
Yeah, Eileen Fisher's good. This is actually good for our channel because most of most of the clothing that we do is in the men's category. So it's really good for people to see some women's. some women's stuff and yeah. some children's stuff. That's great. I'm always yeah. unsuccessful finding women's stuff, it seems. Well, Allie's really good at finding the athletic women's stuff. So yeah. she's like a she's like a Lululemon magnet, which is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's more Patagonia. Patagonia. I find more Patagonia yeah. than Lululemon. Yeah. I rarely find Lululemon. I mm. keep it. All. Lulu's hard too because there's all of these different names for each style and I can't figure it out that's true yep. it's crazy uh, so this is like kimchi blue and it's uh, that's urban outfitters mm -hmm. yeah um, kimchi blue. Sparkly. with the tag on it and I love sparkly things I will almost always put <laughs> holiday <laughs> in sparkly it's all holiday <laughs> <laughs> it's all holiday that's so um, fun. and then I found some Diletta which is uh, anthropology at the bins. Nice. Wow. You know, the stuff she pulled out, I'm like, really? Yeah. So there's there's cults, man. At the bins. Hey, hey guys in the chat, we are looking at the chat. We will we will definitely start answering some of your questions now. So let's start let's start looking at some people's questions and answering them. How's everybody doing, by the way? Everybody's weekend was good. Job. Thumbs up for a good weekend. There's uh there's almost 300 people watching right now, which Whoa. is cool. Wow. Yeah. Yay. Everybody, please hit the thumbs up button on the video. <laughs> thumbs up for it's still working. Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. We were like, so everything funny. is crossed. My fingers were crossed. My legs were crossed. My <laughs> I was like, if this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. So uh, Mariah Fox asks, have you tried buying things on clearance and flipping it? Absolutely. Yeah, you can flip stuff. I mean, not just on clearance, just retail arbitrage, I think, is still, is still alive and well. Uh, there's people who do it purely for Amazon, and there's people who do it purely for eBay. You know, like like um, Chaz and Tristan were saying, when the Amazon Nike thing happened, and people weren't allowed to sell Nike brand shoes on, um, some people still can, but when they weren't allowed to sell it on Amazon anymore, a lot of those sellers switched to eBay. And I know I know people who sell purely Nike shoes from retail stores, like they go to the Nike outlets and Ross and Marshalls mm -hmm. and stuff, and load up on Nike stuff and sell it purely on eBay. So there's a huge market. It's really just finding what you want to sell and then going out there and doing the work, you know? But yes, definitely hitting the clearance sections at Walmart and Targets and um, oh, Toys R Us is really good and taking your phone with you and opening up the Amazon app or the eBay app, just scan the barcode and see, um, see how stuff's selling for sure. Yeah. I've got a pair right here that um, just picked up last night. I found three. Oh, oh, the air. Big air spell out. Went to, yeah, you can imagine we're in Ross, and I, we're, I'm kind of. I, I went into Best Buy. I had a couple retail arbitrage items I was getting from Best Buy. Right. He was in Ross. I met up with her. The second that this red caught my eye, and then I saw the air sold. Oh, yeah. uh, so these were a forty dollar buy cost, which is higher than I like to go. But the comps on these are called up tempos. Mm. Um, uh, Scotty Pippen edition. So I these things, they're, they're kid shoes. So I had three of them. And the comps are about a hundred bucks right now. Yeah, Whoa. I don't doubt it. That should be double. Orlando Magic, didn't he, back in the day? Girl, you better watch out, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's red and black? <laughs> I don't know. Well, was... Until I started listing all those hats, <laughs> yeah. and then I was like, "Oh, Red Wings, that's." A hockey team, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I was like, Very I nice. knew one thing. Yeah. <laughs> what? Scotty Pippen didn't play for the Magic? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> Is he short? Yeah, super short. Short basketball player. He's no, short? no. Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen and my. What? Are they friends? Like, you're thinking like Anthony Hardaway or something. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Kathy. No, you got some research you can do. You need to go get a uh, old Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, if I remember, or it could have been Sega, Sega Genesis. Go get uh, NBA Jams. NBA Jam. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some, Space Jam. The old team. <laughs> Space Jam. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's answer some more questions. Oh, yeah. Actually, should we show another one oh, of our garage? Mugsy. Maybe that's who I was thinking. Mugsy, Mugsy Bose was like five six, five six basketball. I think player. that's a really good question. This one that just popped up. Do you guys get any negative or passive aggressive comments about reselling from family? You want to answer that one? Go for it. Not for my family ever. 
No, never, not once. My family was really proud of us for doing that. The yeah, the the only like slightly, I guess, slightly negative thing I think I would say is that um, your family is big into school, so like you have to go to college, you have to get a degree, because that's all, and they then know. you get a job, which yeah. is which is good for a lot of people. But I was I grew up in a very like entrepreneurial family, and I didn't go to college from high school. I took a different path. I went straight into sales um, and I worked my way up. And then I went through a lot of lows and a lot of highs and then back lows again. <laughs> my family's <laughs> never criticized you to me. They haven't, but you will. Ev yeah, but not going to college. But but there have been um, we've definitely heard stories of people who are like trying to get into reselling or, you know, trying to do a side hustle or something and people you know, family members say that you're crazy, like get a real job. We, I mean, we have had people say at, when they ask us like what we do, but not we'll, family, not family, yeah. but <laughs> just like in general, when people are like, what do you guys do? And we say, we usually answer that question. Like we buy and sell stuff online. And most of a lot of the times people are like, so, so like you're broke. Like there's no, <laughs> way. Yeah. at one point my older brother, he was like, are you guys making enough money on eBay to pay your bills? Yeah. You know? I just don't understand. And I was like, yeah, right. no, I am. And he was like, wow, that's so cool. He was really impressed because he just didn't realize that people mm -hmm. could do that. I mean, I didn't realize and Brian was the one really who like went and ran with it. So, yeah. but not from our family, never from, and Ryan's no. family, they're wonderful and super supportive. They've yeah. always been supportive about everything. I mean, mm. they don't drink what we drink and they don't criticize us for that. I mean, not excessively, you know, we just have like a drink here and there, but you know. <laughs> except, for just... except for Allie at that wedding last night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. We've all been there. Thanks for me. <laughs> oh, somebody asked, do we, um, would you buy Supreme? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> Dude, yes. Supreme is like, is, is basically sold. It's kind of like when you find a really good sales rank on Amazon, Supreme is the same thing with eBay. It's sold as soon as you list it, if you list it for the right price. I think the hardest part, the hardest part about buying Supreme is getting a good enough deal on it. Nobody who knows Supreme is going to sell you a shirt that's worth 80 bucks for, you know, 20. It's not going to happen. They're going to want $75 for that shirt. Mm -hmm. So most people who sell Supreme are, um, they, they really know their stuff. Like they know very well. Supreme. And I've I've Supreme. never found it in a thrift store. Never. I do know that a lot of people were buying the the blank white Supreme T-shirts from Kmart at one point. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, they got like a shipment of Supreme stuff. Kmart did, and people were going there and buying it. It was gone as soon as it got in the store. Yeah, people were probably waiting at the door. But it's anything that's that streetwear, uh, streetwear brand is really good to sell. Even stuff like this. Um, let me grab this. This was a garage sale find this weekend. And um, this is like a, it's just a crew neck sweater. United Kingdom, guys. United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, big, the, big, yes. the, big, the big University of Kentucky brand on there. But uh, it's another champion, the old champion stuff. I don't know if you guys can see, you can't, probably can't see that. But um, if you find a label that says champion reverse weave on it, typically that's a 90s, uh, the higher quality 90s champion sweaters. And they sell for really good money, so. I think a lot on. of people putting the Supreme logo on random things now too, mm. and trying to sell it. Like Casey Neistat had some video about it. Like fake oh, Supreme like stuff. Fake Supreme, I'm so sure. Be no, I get that. Yeah. yeah, some people are a little sketchy. Why would anyone do that? That's messed up. Yeah, the uh, no problem. Yeah, American Apparel was a provider of Supreme, and they liquidated, and that's how they ended up in Kmart. That's right. Exactly. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. But I would tell people if you're looking for those type of brands, the, the best thing to do would be go to uh, Urban Outfitters and look at the brands that they're selling. And those are like the streetwear brands you should look out for. Yeah, Just go there. It's, cr point. it's crazy. Um, we it, walked around Urban Outfitters recently in the last, what, two months. Yeah. And they brought back all these old yeah. style, like all the Tommy Fox logos, everything that was, you know, 90s vintage. It's, it's going to be pretty hard, I think. It's going to be really hard yeah, to in the future find. to differentiate between mm -hmm. the old stuff and the new stuff because they were coming out with like exact copies. So, yeah. yeah. Dang. I know. I can't believe 90s is vintage. No, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, I mean, that's crazy. You just type in 90s vintage. Uh, 
I mean, it's not really, but it's a search term that people use. So we always put it in our title because everyone else does and it helps. Oh my gosh, we're old. 320 people watching. Yay! Yay. Guys, so I know it's not bad when I'm asking people if they know what Rugrats is. <laughs> yeah. Tommy. Tommy. All that. <laughs> yes. Yay, Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica. I've got Tommy and Chucky up here. Yeah. Do you? Oh, you do? Do you have the dinosaur? Yeah. And Reptar. 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 Uh, Reptar. I don't know. Yeah. Reptar is like the most adorable pop figure ever. In made. the world. It's amazing. <laughs> Titus took my Reptar, but. There's oh, you got oh, Chucky oh, and Tommy. Nice. That's awesome. Those are so cute. <laughs> Only nerds will understand. <laughs> Why is Ryan the only one answering questions? <laughs> yeah, you guys answer questions. All right, all right. <laughs> Kelly and I are gonna hop on. Next questions, Kelly and I are answering. You guys, yeah. Questions go. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shut answer. up now. Sparkling I did see a though. question I wanted to answer for somebody um, about going on vacation and putting your eBay store on. Just make sure when you go on vacation that you also change your handling time. That was a newbie mistake I made right out of the gate, and I. Pretty we're much, still trying to fix we're that. trying to I mean it's it ruined my my mm. seller performance for a little while for sure so vacation mode and handling time that actually happened to us too yeah <clears throat> I know I'm not supposed to be talking yeah I don't have to switch anything exactly. off. I just do it all while they're gone yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it, it took us like um, it took us months it took us two months to get back to top rated seller status. Yeah. So yeah, it's rough. And it's harder. It's harder now too, guys, on eBay to, to become a top rated seller because they changed the the stats where you have to have what is it, ninety five percent shipping Man. on time? I isn't it higher? I believe uh, it's ninety five percent. Is it ninety five? I, I think it has to just be over three percent of whatever your number is. And then here's a good question. I mean, we've gotten this question a lot and we've answered it a few times. How many eBay stores do you have and why do you have more than one from Adrian Perez? Um, we have two. And the reason we have more than one is just in case. <laughs> I'm telling everybody. <laughs> it's um because one time our account was suspended from Vero because, right? It was yeah. Vero? That's what that was? Vero? 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 Mm hmm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I think it was, we had something that was, ex that was expired and eBay just went through and recognized it. And yeah, there was more than one thing cause the stuff got old. Cause I guess it was priced too high, which don't price stuff too high. If it's about right. to expire in the next few months. Cause you'll just forget about it. Just don't list it. Don't list expired stuff. Well, don't <laughs> yeah. list expired except stuff, for, except right. for in cartridges. Do list so, expired yes. in cartridges. Yeah. We sell some good ink yes. cartridges for sure. That Timothy like Miller. My first. My first big purchase yep. profit was ink. was ink. Yeah, we found it, but Callie also found it. It was kind of like a who found it first. Uh, <laughs> I told <laughs> Callie. Let me have it. Well, so Ryan said when we went garage selling that morning that Callie, if we find something and you want it, tell me and you could have whatever True. it is. And Callie, <laughs> she looked at the stuff and she's like, man, I want it. And I said, Callie. I'm taking that ink. You gotta say I want it because they were, Ryan said they you were could the have big it. Big industrial ink cartridges. Yeah, the toners. Three of them. Oh, they're so good. Sixty oh, bucks God. total, and each one of them sold for like over one twenty a piece. Yeah. So that yeah. was my big profit item. Yeah. I, 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 let me. I, I just want to expand on the multiple eBay stores question really quick. Um, we have multiple eBay stores for that reason, but also because we like to separate our inventory. So we oh, have yeah. we have one eBay account where we list stuff like clothing and thrift and garage sale stuff, which that is the store that we share publicly with no issues. And then we have another eBay store where we list some wholesale stuff that we buy, some bulk stuff that we buy, stuff that if we shared that store, we would definitely have competition. So mm -hmm. we don't share that store. Um, and that's one of the other reasons why we like to separate the inventory. Yeah, yeah. super smart. Not because we don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Especially as like once you get into the YouTube game, you guys have probably seen this it where is, yeah. like I remember my very beginning videos got popular because I was ordering stuff like pallets of liquidated stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was doing unboxing videos and showing people exactly what came in there. And then once I start getting into more like replenishable stuff that I know which retail stores mm -hmm. to go buy and pay retail price and flip them, 
then we started to get people. It's like, well, I thought you wanted to help everybody and show all your stuff. <laughs> Why aren't you being transparent? It's like we also want to pay our bills. <laughs> not going to yeah. broadcast certain things. Yeah, uh, forty thousand people. Yeah. <laughs> and the 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 funny thing about that too is like there's there's you also have to go do it like even if we gave you guys our exact wholesale sources mm -hmm. their phone numbers their contacts and our recommendation most people 95 percent percent of people wouldn't do anything with it yep. it's the whole we, we can lead the horse horse to water thing right but you guys have to go do it yourselves and drink if you don't go and actually do the work to develop the con the um the contacts then if you lose that contact, how are you ever going to do the work to find another one? You know what I mean? So this isn't this isn't a easy gig. Being a reseller is not an easy gig. It's a work every single day and continue to grow gig. Finding contacts is incredibly hard. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. The ones that we have now it, it took like what eight months per that yeah. we find a good one's like every eight months we'll find someone really yeah. great yeah. and once you find them too like that's just step one step two is developing and keeping that relationship going keeping like that relationship of, is yeah. tough sometimes one of our best contacts that we made the same thing it took like six months of me talking to this guy as a walmart manager and eventually it got down to the road i always saw him in the clearance aisle like putting stickers on stuff right mm -hmm. and it got to the point where he asked me he's like okay you buy a lot of stuff you're obviously selling it somewhere what do you do and I always use the phrasing, we have an online retail business. And I'm always looking for a good deal. That's kind of like the phrasing I use. Nice. That's um, good phrasing. Perfect. So, yeah, we definitely learned it's all in the phrasing. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so once we developed that relationship and that connection, we started establishing such a deep level of, of trust with each other and relationship that I can text him, hey, I'm going to be at your store today. He'll meet me in the clearance aisle. I'll scan something, and this is for Amazon, but I'll scan something and say, I can pay $10. He'll print off the $10 sticker right there. Wow. Nice. That's, That's amazing. Awesome. That yeah. He has his own parameters. But because, but yeah, because we've sweet. developed that relationship, he'll work with me much more than, again, I can give that contact out to anybody. He's going to give me the better deals because we have that relationship. Probably keeps their clearance <laughs> aisle nice and organized instead of there being right? like a mismatch of everything. You just oh, yeah. clear out yeah. everything for them. And to add that to that, we've bought things from him just to kind of keep that relationship going, not necessarily making a profit. We might have even lost a little bit of money on some of that yep. stuff that we bought. Yep. But it, it, it's worth it in the long run because those relationships are going mm. to, to pay out eventually. And it's just it's a good thing to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Callie, people want you to talk more. Yeah, well, Kelly. Like, entertain us. Oh, that's right. You entertain were moderating. Us, Kelly. Kelly's Here, I'll moderate. You talk. Okay, that She's doing the hardest job. <laughs> yeah, there was someone kind of sketchy <laughs> in the chat. So Kelly was live. dealing with that individual. I, ah. so I went live for my phone. So nice. Yeah. I was. I will say, like most most people on YouTube, Ali was a little bit scared getting onto YouTube at Not the beginning. Not a little, a lot. Because she was. Yeah. She was worried about it, but. I was super concerned that everyone would just be super rude and judgmental and a hater, but it's been the opposite of that. Yeah. There's been very few rude, judgmental, or hating people. Yeah, this people. guy was like the first person I've blocked so far. <laughs> yeah, they just kept putting curse <laughs> words in. And it's yes. not cool. We don't want to bring any negativity. Yeah. Just it's, We want to keep everything because... positive. We want to keep our lives positive. We want to keep the people in our lives positive. Yeah. Yeah. Just all the it's best love. love. Not hate. <laughs> Right. Protons. We're all about protons. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's awesome. Julie's asked this question a couple times, so I want to answer it for yes, her. Yes, thank she you. She said, I have most of my children's Jimboree clothing from when they were little, 90s design collections. Is that something good to list? Was saving it for my grand, but kids have no interest. I would say, um, maybe Trista, you can answer this better because we don't really deal too much in kids' clothing, but my advice would be to lot it. So to sell like all of the shirts together, pants together, like lot it up into maybe five items at a time at least, instead I, of selling individually. I think that's a, that's exactly what I would say. And yeah. I wouldn't even go as far as lotting them pants and shirts. I would just do a huge mixture. And um, oh. you can do a lot of research. I've actually bought clothes for my son that way. Just looking, yeah. you know, like when your kids need clothes, it's not just that they need pants. You know, they need they're growing everywhere. <laughs> so usually, you know, you, you need a couple pairs of pants and, you know, a couple tops. So just 
you know, throw it all together as a huge lot or break it up into smaller ones. But I exactly right. I yeah. would do a lot, especially with kids clothes. People don't want to pay a lot of money for the individual pieces, but they will pay a little bit more if it's just convenient and in this big lot. And you have to look too on top of that is you're going to be saving time on photos yeah. and listening time because you're not going to have to go through piece by piece and do that. Right. Yeah, for sure. But it's totally worth at least checking out before you donate it to Goodwill or, you know, I always advocate <laughs> donate to your homeless shelter. Donate, don't donate to Goodwill. <laughs> so anyway, um, Hey guys, so far, so, so far on eBay, my Christmas vest tank is it's at thirty one dollars right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Allie's has a bid for fifteen bucks, and Callie's has a bid for fifteen bucks. So nice. right. Save the puppies. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you want to, if you want to bid on the Christmas sweaters that we wore in the video yesterday, Callie will put the links in the chat, yeah. and you can go do that. Some Ray Bans are sold on our eBay. Yay, that's so great. We should, <laughs> what's the we're, gonna, we're gonna give all of the money from that to the probably the ASPCA, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna research the because I know in our area we do have some very local shelters where they're they're no kill, which is very expensive for the maintenance. So they'll get dogs mm. that have been abused and they can't really adopt them out because they have, you know, some sad behavioral issues because of the abuse they've suffered. So Unfortunately. maybe, yeah, it's just awful. So maybe we can find one of those that's local and yeah. I can figure well, maybe, out. Maybe yeah. we could just go buy a bunch of dog food and then drop it off. Oh yeah, I'll call, I'll call I'll call them. There's a local one. Someone asked, gonna... can you check the tag? Oh, it's um, <laughs> Nutcracker brand. Nutcracker <laughs> brand. <laughs> it's a medium. That's... I think my fifth grade teacher had that. That vest. Yeah, this exact yeah. one. <laughs> oh my god, this one is so epic. It has a little bit of a dazzle oh, on it. Honestly, oh, it's honestly. there's some and, and let me tell you guys, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. And this I'm, is a soft one. It is. It's nice. It's really good. And what size is it? Medium? medium. It's a medium. It fits me kind of short, so it's kind of like a belly tank I'm on me. I'm pretty sure but... it's a women's medium. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the 90s. I'm pretty sure it's a 90s one. They're women's stuff. Not the way that I wear boxier. <laughs> So a medium then is maybe more like a large now, maybe. I don't know. It's just the cuts were quite different. And then I know somebody asked a couple of times how they organize at home. So maybe, Tristan, you could talk about how you organize your inventory at home so that it doesn't take mm -hmm. over your house. Or I doesn't was actually going to ask house. you guys how you organize. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have turned our garage into the world's best multi-purpose room. Yeah, nice. it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so we've got like inventory here, inventory, inventory over there. Nice. Like, I don't know. This is like, inventory. oh yeah. yeah. So two, two big eBay shelves over there. Yeah. And then we've got three more on the other side of us. Nice. Oh, wow. Everyone thinks this is always my actual wall. Yeah, that brick. It's just a poster. So this is my <laughs> this is my YouTube background. Yeah, it's a good background. It's I like an background. amazing background. I thought it was so cool, and I was like, I like them. I think we could definitely be friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we did the video like together, and I was like, we need to go visit them. If I didn't have retail, my retail arbitrage toys sitting on them right now, I'd show you guys like our whole prep station. But it's just one giant lineup of tables. Yeah. So we have a drop off station. The middle is checking on our computer. And then the other ones kind of prep and shipping. Yeah. And as far as like how I organize our eBay inventory, everything's split up. Um, so like clothes are all to themselves, shoes are all to themselves, electronics and then and toys and some other, you know, random house goods and stuff. Um, and then I just organize them by either by the clothes are by brand. So each tote has a, B, C, blah, blah, blah. And then the brand, so American Eagle goes into A. Oh, nice. um, yeah, so that's how I do the clothing. And then cool. the, the houseware is just chronologically uh, in the time that I buy it. So you just sold how do you guys do how do you guys do your 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 eBay inventory? Kelly, why don't you answer that? Yeah. 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 Kelly, talk. Kelly's <laughs> Kelly's kind of reorganized our warehouse after she started work, working full time for us because I'm a mess. Like I'll yeah. just go in like a tornado. And <laughs> Kelly's cleaned it up big time. I'd so. come in to do the shipping and then like I'd have to dig through the bin to find stuff and it'd be on the bottom. So now we're putting items yeah. in their own bags mm -hmm. and then into the bins and they're numbered. So it's so much easier to find stuff in there. And then like bigger, heavier items that we can't fit into those bags will hang up on a clothing rack and we put a little tag on the coat hanger 
with a label and a number mm -hmm. so we can easily find that stuff. So are you so putting like, stuff away as you're putting in listings so yeah. that you're keeping things like the numbers are staying organized? Yeah, so when I when I take all the pictures at the end, I'll take a picture of it in the package with the bin number and all that. And then so when I go to list it, I just look through the pictures and I already know what to add on the end of the listing so that when it Smart. sells, I can find it later. Smart. That's really good. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. we do, we'll have like, we have an intake area where all the new stuff comes in that needs to be take where it needs pictures taken off. The death pile. The death pile area, yeah, which is getting much row. smaller now. It's much better. <laughs> right. It's much better. Poor Callie. Every time we get new stuff, I'm like, oh, Callie's going to yeah. cry a little. Now I have my own personal death pile. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> my stuff. Uh, someone was asking if I sold that Hermes typewriter that I found, and I haven't even taken pictures of it yet. Maybe I'll get around to that. I should. I should do that this you should. week. You, got, you have some good stuff to list, I actually. I do. I got some good stuff yesterday. Yeah. Make fun of Callie long enough, she'll eventually <laughs> list it. The pressure. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> we showed some other stuff. This is a this yeah. is an interesting find, guys. This is something that um, I I've, didn't even look twice at. Yeah, Allie yeah, I right didn't see it. I just sometimes when we're at garage sales, if I see something that doesn't or I've never seen before, I'll just look it up anyway. Um, just to see. <laughs> the plug just tickled my tush. It just like went across <laughs> my butt. <laughs> I was like, oh, that tickles. <laughs> So I saw this thing, uh, and it was marked five dollars, right? Yeah, five bucks. And the brand on it is Rainmate. It's just a single word. It says Rainmate on it. Um, and I was like, let's see if they're selling on eBay. So I typed it into eBay, and they were selling for. There was a lot of good sales on them, so the sell through rate on them was very good. Uh, and they were selling for about forty five to sixty dollars used. Nice. So nice. again, it's a it's a bigger kind of item. This is plastic, not glass. So it's. It shouldn't be too hard to ship. We'll yeah. just wrap it up and box it. And then I know a lot of people ask how we would ship something like this because obviously this is this is not first class. It's about Carefully. two and a half pounds, three pounds. Um, usually with stuff like this, we'll we'll bubble wrap it, put it in a brown box, and ship it FedEx Smart Post um, or FedEx Home Delivery, depending on where it's going. Just because that's the cheapest option. It's the cheapest way that we sh that that um, to ship something like this. And most of our stuff on eBay, we do free shipping on. So that's the best way that we found to do it. Nice. And then someone asked a really good question um, about working with your spouse. Ooh. The secret to working with your spouse, because both of us work with our spouse. Yeah. So you guys go first. I want to hear it's it. a whole say. hour in itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say boundaries. Boundaries are, are really good as far as. Mm. Um, so if I have an Amazon question, I go to Charles and if he has an eBay question, he usually comes to me. I usually make a mistake first and then go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't ever make mistakes. No, of course you guys don't. <laughs> usually while I'm shipping and he's marked something, uh, like it was like a, oh. a four pound item that he accidentally marked as a one pound item and then or if I, I or if I pick something up that's just terrible. Up. Yeah. You want to tell him about my recent pickup two nights ago? Because I don't know the clothing game. Oh yeah. <laughs> so bad. So he found this really, Ooh. really, really fake coach vest. <laughs> oh no. Like I can't tell you how fake this red, thing is. Red flag should have been it was in Ross. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all excited because I just see Coach. I'm like, hey, that's a good brand. Like, it's it was, so it was, it was this a uh, bomber down. Yeah, it's down just like a vest, jacket. like a men's vest. And so it was marked seventy bucks. I'm like, okay, that's really high buy cost. Check the tag, and it was for five hundred ninety five. That's Oof. what the tag said. I checked the comps, and it was going for like four hundred bucks. I'm like, all right, let's buy it. And yeah, then I brought all the it other home. fake ones were going for that much money too. <laughs> I, I brought it home and in two seconds she's like you didn't actually just bring that in my house at least you can at least you can return that though right yes yeah, yeah we'll get a return for sure that was but, bad that's yeah. Awesome. yeah yeah authenticating stuff is hard sometimes i'm yeah. actually going to meet with someone locally who has a leather um gucci jacket that they want to sell me tomorrow so uh oh. we'll see I, i'm pretty good at those are those aren't too hard because they only made a certain certain styles yeah so this is one of the tom ford ones so i think i, I think it'll be okay i should be able nice. to i think the way we work really well together is 
we just don't take anything personally. And we talk. We talk about everything. We yeah. never yeah, we'll argue. Thing. We always talk about it. Yeah. So, and we always, if we have a frustration with one another, we address it almost immediately, and we don't let it build up. That's the worst, guys. Is if. You go to sleep angry about something because then you're just going to wake up angry and you're not going to get a good night's sleep. So just always be open. And that's what we are. We're just always open. We talk about everything. And yeah. um, now we have Callie and we can just beat her up at work. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the punching bag now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Chris, you I think one of the other things that we like have done more recently and it's been really nice, especially with the two year old, it's like stuff falls to the wayside you know, housework and like, we're not just running a business. We're still trying to like be mm. present in our lives as well. So like if he has extra time, instead of like playing video games right away, he'll ask me if there's anything I need, you know, and just, like, being there and Husbands, supporting. <laughs> take notes. Cause that, that was only recently I started doing that. Cause in the past it would be, well, I'm just going to do what I want. And then yeah. she's slaving out here when she needs help. Like, <laughs> so like just being considerate and like putting that extra, you know, it, it really isn't that much more time. It will take him like 10 or 15 extra minutes of mm -hmm. helping me out, but it really goes a long way. And you have to realize like, if you were at a job with a coworker and you saw them struggling, wouldn't you like, Hey, let me give me something off of your plate so that you're not, you know, overwhelmed. Right. And like, yeah, we're spouses, yeah. but we're also coworkers too. Like this is mm -hmm. our business and we need to make sure it survives. So nice. for sure. Yeah, yeah you go. Go. Yeah. Yeah, fist pump. What she said today, trademarked. We are, no, I won't do it. We already made that mistake once. That was so cute when you guys did that in the video, right? I showed Ali. I was, like, oh. I was like, look. We're so funny. Yeah. We've been married for three and a half, no, oh, four Almost years four. in December. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. But we've been okay. together. We've been together for 10 years in July. Nice, us too. Yeah. Hey. Well, it was nine together. years this year. Next year will be ten years. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, in July. <laughs> so. Ten no. years in July. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that not what I said? No, it is, but I, don't, <laughs> I took it a different way. Very yeah, we're the same together. Ten years. It'll be eleven nice. years this January, and we've been married for six. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, nice! Yay! Killing it. We're killing it, guys. Kelly, you want to answer your question? Tally yeah. get married well, next. My friends in Tallahassee, Chris and Jess, are watching. Um, what up, Chris and Jess? Hey, guys. guys. Kelly so, friends. <laughs> where do you get your shipping supplies at an affordable cost? Amazon Good for question. bubble wrap. I can answer that. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you put most of the links to the stuff mm -hmm. on the videos mm -hmm. in Amazon, so you can probably throw them up on yeah. this one. We might have to update some of those links. Definitely, but. like, a lot of uh, – any, any USPS supplies that we use, you can get for free on uh, USPS.com, like the priority boxes, the flat rate shipping envelopes, all of that stuff you can get for free. Um, another thing is if you have an eBay store, they've been sending out quarterly coupons where you can go and use that money to buy eBay branded shipping supplies. Free tape. And we literally, we haven't bought tape, I think in months because yeah. going stock up on the eBay tape. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been fine for us. I mean, and we use the eBay tape. People laugh at us. We use the eBay tape for our Amazon shipments all the time for our FBA shipments. <laughs> no, never had an issue with it. No big deal. It's, it's just tape. It's just tape. I think right. it's really funny. I want to be the Amazon or meet the Amazon employee to, who gets that box. <laughs> like, yeah, when we first started out, we would ship all of our shipments in diaper boxes. Love it. <laughs> Love yes. it. <laughs> Because you're recycling. I always ask my family yeah. to save yeah. all packing materials for way. me. And yeah. they do. And I mean, sometimes we live off of the packing materials. Yeah. If we run out, we didn't realize, mm -hmm. oh, shoot, we needed to put an order in. So. Oh, no, with strings coming out. No, don't pull it. I got to cut it off. Don't pull it. I'll cut it off. That thing is we got bids on that. Right we, already, we already got bids on it. Yes. <laughs> I'll just it's tuck that away. Like Tim's so funny. He goes, Ali has Ryan trained to make coffee every morning. <laughs> she actually does. <laughs> <laughs> I think really what it is, the trick is Ryan knows I'm a better person with coffee. <laughs> so he's trained me with it. Treat this now. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm lucky. Ryan does make the best coffee. That's awesome. <laughs> Very lucky. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> yes, P.S. You can get all kinds of free boxes yeah. Yeah. to ship in. Let's see. Yeah. Someone asked if we sold. We don't sell on Poshmark, but yeah. I know a lot of other people do successfully. We just don't. 
Posh is a lot of work. Yes. You have to you have to babysit that for quite a while before. Um, I mean, that's my experience, and um, I've made a few sales on Poshmark. The nice thing is that there it's a different customer base. I feel like than than eBay. So if you buy a lot of trending now, like um, you know fashions, or if they're new or whatever, it it might be worth your time. But you do have to babysit it. It's kind of a Time suck. Mm. Aaron says that they watch us for our coffee as much as our reselling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we we actually we were gonna open up a coffee shop. It didn't work out. Um, and then we it was actually before we started our reselling, full time reselling. Um, but we are like super big, or me anyway, super big coffee connoisseurs. And I'm like very into my my lattes. I'm very into <laughs> the lattes Ryan gives I'm, me in the morning. <laughs> I probably will do like a tutorial video because a lot of people have asked how I make the coffee, so I probably will. I think you if you made a tutorial, should. I would with probably soil. get an espresso machine if I knew how to make. I have if I knew how to use it. I have okay. no idea. Yeah. I'll do one. I'll do okay. one. <laughs> Let's see. More questions. Will we share our eBay store name? Ours is the Hip Lion. The Hip Lion is our eBay store. That's the one with the clothing and stuff. Did you guys want to share any? <laughs> so it's a five dollar off for the string. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> Ours okay. is pretty simple. It's side hustle pros. Oh, nice. There you go. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. Not side hustle pros. Side hustle marketplace. Marketplace. Yeah, I forget about the marketplace. Laden, you think that Poshmark is easier than eBay to sell? Really? I think oh, that I, I I've heard that it's easier once you build up your like your social, because it's a social network. You have to build it up. Yeah. Oh, so. James Thrift. James Thrift. James Thrift with the two dollar super chat. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> hip line? No, hip line. Hip line like a lion. Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fight. No. That's a I lot mean, of people ask us that. I mean, I would win easy. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, unicorn horn. <laughs> uh, they're really good together and like they said they just talk things through and then it's done there's it's fake fake for you too yeah, we're just fake actors <laughs> and Callie's really just a child that looks like an adult she's, like, <laughs> she's, just, she's two <laughs> kids standing on each other's shoulders with a trench coat <laughs> I do have a booster seat not gonna lie I'm sitting oh, yeah. right now <laughs> It's okay. Trista has to stand on a skateboard in our video sometimes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> bummer. That's dangerous. It is dangerous, but I live on the edge. <laughs> hey, <laughs> should we show another garage sale thing from yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Show another we thing out of there. A couple of cool things. Yeah. Um. Oh, these. Ugh. I looked right past. Oh wait. Yeah. Hold on. Find something. <laughs> what you got? These oh. Ones. The Berkies. The Crocs without holes. The Crocs without holes. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they're Berkies. We, we should show them a not clothing item. I think Let's we should show a few different things. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. An Amazon item. An Amazon item. Tree Gator. <laughs> yeah. It's another one of those things where it just, when I saw it, it just looks like an Amazon item. And it had a barcode on it, so it was easy to scan. Um, so if you ever find something that's brand new in the packaging, it may be good for Amazon. If it has a barcode, just whip out your Amazon app and scan it. And this isn't going to be a huge profit. They're selling for like $21 each, I think, on Amazon. But the sales rank was 7000 So they'll sell very, very fast. Um, and we pay $13 for two of them. So again, it's something like this is just we'll build up an Amazon FBA order, and then we just throw it in the box, and it's super simple, you know? Yeah, for sure. Nice. I've got another little bolo for you guys. Nice. Bolo. So this guy, Starbucks tumbler. It's called Tumblr, right? Yeah. yeah. He was like, why is it a Tumblr? Why isn't it just a cup? <laughs> a cup. <laughs> Starbucks said so. So in Starbucks, like actual Starbucks, always check out their tumblers. A lot of times they're clearancing out. This one we bought for 10 bucks. Well, and they just Are those roaches? They're they're they, little beetle bugs. They they're look like, like little like, roaches. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why, but I something told me to scan it. It was on sale for ten bucks, and this thing sold for forty. 
Dang. Wow, nice. ago, and they've been selling between 25 and 40 depending on the listing. So I you sold I, it on you sold it on Amazon? On eBay. Oh, on eBay, okay. Yeah. So I'm always keeping an eye out for Tumblr stuff now. And especially at Goodwill too. Like right now we're picking up Goodwill stuff. So we're finding a bunch of little coffee cups and mugs. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Anything Disney, Mickey Mouse <laughs> always does really well. Um, so that's that's another thing I'm kind of keeping an eye out for now. Yeah. Nice. Starbucks, I don't, I'm sure everyone knows this by now, but Starbucks doesn't have an online store anymore. So everything that you buy, people yeah. can buy is just on retail. So. Yes. Wow. Yes. And some of those things, you're absolutely right. I remember last Christmas, actually, those, do you remember the red Starbucks tumblers? And like, yes. Yes. You remember those things? Oh yeah. my gosh. Dude, those things are selling for like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And Lily, Lily Pulitzer came out with a, yes. those were big too. Yes. So there I you go. I never got my hands on one though. Oh, go so get good. go get a five dollar coffee five dollar terrible coffee and get a Starbucks tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> the last Starbucks coffee made me like six my stomach. It smelled it's like ashtray cigarette. <laughs> I've had I've had one good Starbucks coffee before and it was in I think it was in the UK. It was a flat oh, flat white. That's where good. I had the discussion. Flat white. I don't even know what that means. Oh yeah, flat so white micro bubbles. I think that doesn't make sense. To <laughs> I'm a Red Bull in the morning kind of gal. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to stop doing that because it's bad for you. It's no bueno. Yeah. I tell everyone how you spell your name. C A L L I E. Damn. <laughs> a lot of people ask. Y'all heard how to it. spell your name. You need to we just have, type it in like the title one day. We have 352 people watching. Guys, Whoa. thank you. Thank Whoa. you so much for hanging out with us. That's really cool. I know Wait. that all of you are here just to see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> and everyone always asks if you and Kelly are related. You guys we look are related. My but we are not. definitely related. <laughs> no, we're not Allie, related. Do you ever get tired of Ryan's humility? <laughs> oh man, you know what? That's what that's why I married him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you made me blush. Look at that. <laughs> 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 that was oh great. I love that. That's <laughs> actually that's really, one thing is we um, Yeah, really call me out. We only say positive <laughs> things about ourselves when we're at home, you know. Listen, you gotta love yourself yeah. too. It's a big part of the of the, yeah. the mental game in this business. And Ryan definitely has, you know, self esteem as you guys. For so. days. <laughs> 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 nope, we're here for Callie and Allie in, in the morning. <laughs> yes. Nobody, get that yeah, I was about ever? to say, has anybody got that reference no one's yet? Got it up. We should give away a free shirt no for the person who guesses where that reference is That's from. That's a great idea. Yeah. <gasps> All right, guys, we're actually we're, just, we're super yeah. close to um to ordering our next t we're gonna do t-shirts and hoodies, I think. Um, so let's we'll give away a t-shirt. It'll be we should be putting that order in probably like next week or something or opening up orders for it. it's gonna yeah It's gonna be the fist yeah. bump buy sell travel with the fist bump in the middle. So who knows that who knows where that's from? Someone just got it. Oh someone just got <laughs> it yes. Inflated All right hero. Inflated here send us send us email uh, Ryan at ryanroots.com. So Ryan at ryanroots.com. Send us your I win. <laughs> your t-shirt size and your um, shipping address and we'll send you a free shirt the next one that we do. So quite a few people knew it was from community. Yes. Yes. All right, all right. And our merch our merch, <laughs> by the way, guys, the shirts and stuff that we do, we're only doing the design one time. And then we change it, kind of like Supreme. So we're we're only doing <laughs> we're only doing the design ones. They are. So but we're not saying store, I gotta get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but exactly. we're not like limiting it to only a hundred shirts. Where no, whoever no. orders one in the time frame gets one. Yeah. Because I don't believe in like not letting everyone get one if they want. That was one. good. Yeah. That was a someone guessed it like immediately. That was yeah, great. that's amazing. Ooh, so Ali asked how. On selling the Lulero lot that you bought, oh, it's almost all gone. It is almost yeah, all gone. Yeah, we are. Left. Yeah, we're almost done with it nice. now. Now let me let me add a caveat to that. Lulero is the market on eBay right now is flooded. It's flooded, and the main reason why it's flooded is because they're getting sued. Class action lawsuit. Like they're getting sued for like a billion dollars. Um, people a can't. Billion. Yeah, people. Their their distributors can't send their inventory back to Lulero anymore. So there's just they're selling it, they're liquidating it to whoever will buy it. So like if we were gonna buy another lot like that, I think we bought like three hundred and sixty something pieces total. Um, we would probably only pay like half of what we paid 
a few months back when we bought the item. So just be wary of that. Certain items you're going to sit on for a little while. The good thing, good thing, the good thing about them going under is that they're not they're not going to be making certain certain clothing anymore or at all, right? So we probably have a lot of rare items. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. If you can yeah. wait, if you can hold on to inventory and you can afford to wait a little bit, eventually it will not be as flooded and you will you will get a premium for some of those items. So. Yep. But it, look out for the stuff like um, the dresses, the, especially the solid color dresses, the ones without patterns on them, like a like a black solid co color um, Julia dress, I think, or Carly like dress. Julia, what was Monroe? Monroe sure. were like the shawl thingies, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think that dress is selling for like 120 bucks right now, just that one. So. Yeah, I'm looking now at how much Lula Rose stuff we have left, and compared to much. what we used to have, maybe yeah. it's like a sixth? We're definitely in in major profit on it already, so that's good. Yeah. Sweet. Do you guys like work at home, or do you guys just save it for, for the office, or do things get... Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, yeah, how do we separate personal and work life? Well, Ryan's a Gemini. So Someone even said that. And so is Callie. So Gemini what's really Gemini. nice is Ryan's very Gemini. good at separating that, work sorry. and home. <laughs> and <laughs> when I'm home, I'm pretty good at it, too, because I'll end up like cleaning the house instead of doing work things. But when I'm at work, I do do just only work. And I think the last two days, I've been cleaning and reorganizing the entire warehouse. Did you see? It's yeah, a good job that's I did. amazing. It's so good. Amazing. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. annihilated yeah. that organization <laughs> hard on I, our I can't wait to go tornado it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. It's like it's beautiful out here, and then Charles comes out here for 45 minutes, and it's like, I don't know, a tornado happens. Yeah. Kim, Kim asked if there's going to be a local meetup. Yes, there is. we're still going to do the kickball game. We're just waiting for um, Eric, college picker, to come back from his van life tour. <laughs> he's in, in California right he's now. He's in Cali right now. Yeah, I think he's got a, He's got Cali. his contract out there, and then he's going to come back, and then we're going to do a kickball tournament. It's going to be lots of fun. Oh, yeah, but no, what I was going to say is it is really hard sometimes to separate work and business because yeah. – I mean, work and business – work and home life because Ryan is always responding to – eBay messages like immediately because you don't yeah. want to let that go until the next yeah. day, especially if someone's angry and it will kind of put a damper on his mood. But as long as I see the message as well, I can understand and I can work around, yeah. you know, the bad mood that somebody put us in and we can get ourselves out of it pretty quickly. We'll watch like a funny show. Yeah. But um, it is our own business. So we do want to make sure that we're very attentive to it. And sometimes it is hard. Right. But I mean, if we do go on like a date, you know, like a date night, we will we'll absolutely not off. respond yeah. to anything. Yeah, especially yeah. with like social media and stuff too. I have to be very wary of because I'm I'm I run pretty much all the social media. So answering yeah, answering comments and Instagram and all that stuff. Um, sometimes you just have to be very aware that you know, knowing when it's when it's time to shut off and just enjoy your relationship and don't let that get in the middle of it. It's yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I'm right there with you guys. That's probably the hardest part, and I think the one piece of YouTube and social media in general that people don't understand until they get into it is the behind the scenes of messages. The messaging, the commenting, the keeping up on all of it. Yep. Uh, very time consuming, and that's why it's hard to kind of shut it off sometimes. Responding to YouTube comments sometimes is, we'll oh, spend hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I usually have about an hour blocked off every day dedicated just for YouTube comments now. Yeah, and when we post a new video, once we were driving somewhere, Ryan posted it, and it, two hours we were in the car, I was nonstop responding yeah. to messages. Yeah. And it's so wonderful that we can do yeah. that and that people yeah. want to, you know, say, I love you guys. Thanks, you know, so much for making the video, or you've really helped me get out of debt. And we just want to make sure that we respond to everybody, which is now we can't really as much anymore. So we have to do like the like because. Yeah, if you guys if you guys leave us a question or a comment on a YouTube video and we don't get to it, don't hate us. <coughs> we, <laughs> we will eventually answer your question. If it's not in the YouTube comments, I mean, we read everything. We read every single comment, and if we can reply to it, we will. Um, but we also try to answer some of those questions in the YouTube videos that we do. So, mm -hmm. but we absolutely love the, our little YouTube community, and we try to you know really answer your guys's questions. So. I typically go through and reply to stuff too on yeah. all of the videos. So I, I might like be answering best. some of your questions. 
As somebody says, I love how you I love how you guys co comment or reply to every comment and how you responded to the OJ comment. Did you see that one? <laughs> I, did. yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because I was, was a little a... out of commission today, guys. <laughs> I remember watching Beauty and the, the Beast on the bean now. bag in the living yeah. room, right? <laughs> they made fun of me on Instagram and I was just like, whatever. <laughs> I made a I made a joke in the video that not everybody has the same humor. I get it. It's not a big deal. I mean, the, the comment with the glove, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, listen, guys, that's the other hard thing about YouTube is that we're not going to please everybody 100% of the time. So you, we are just people, you know what I mean? We're not always going to agree, but as long as you guys enjoy what we're putting out, just keep watching. You can listen. If you want to leave a comment that you didn't like something, we welcome it. We welcome it. So. But it's nicer if you leave a comment that just says like we love rainbows and unicorns too. Yeah, <laughs> or, or disagree with us in a nice way, in right. an encouraging way. Yeah. You know? And most people <clears throat> do. Yeah, and we never try yeah. to say anything that's rude or offensive because we don't want to offend anybody. But mm -hmm. sometimes you do something and it offends somebody, and you're like, I never even thought that. Mm -hmm. But the other person thinks. But we try. We try hard. Brittany said, "Sorry, I'm. I wanna." <laughs> <clears throat> I've been talking way too much, apparently. Um, <laughs> Brittany said, I heard you guys will be guest starring with State's Place with Nicole in her, uh, the State's Crates. Will you be going there or live? We would love to go there. Ooh. That'd be sweet. Nicole, hook us up with some plane tickets. <laughs> Nicole, yes. Um, no, we're just going to do it. We'll, we'll film it and do it, and then I think she's going to put it on her channel. I want to go visit her pug. Oh, she has yeah. a pug. It's the coolest <laughs> pug ever. If you guys do end up getting in the area, we're an hour south of there. Get out of oh, here. Oh my yes. God. We're just south of Portland. Uh, oh, we should come stay with everybody. Yeah, go. Yeah. I'll take care of that's why <laughs> that's why you guys find find such good stuff at the bins. <laughs> we got some good bins around here. I know. Dang. I know. There's a lot of really uh, good resellers out in your area. Mm, yeah, yeah, we got a bunch. Yeah. I want to go to It's also hard though because like we we drove an hour yesterday to go find oh these, my gosh this specific toy at a specific store and we called. it's a Lego I don't even care if they know now yeah. it was a Lego <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna say which one because I'm still hunting it but there's there's a specific Lego that you can buy for twenty five bucks it's selling for a hundred is it a, is it a Star Wars one it's not a Star Wars one oh that's why it intrigued me and so I called the store as we're driving up and this is the hard part we live in a small town Portland's an hour away so we're 45 minutes out and I call them they're like yeah we have six in stock you can buy two at a time oh. so, okay, two four we're gonna give Titus our three-year-old 50 <laughs> bucks to go buy the last two. Oh my god I, I was gonna do it on, I was gonna do it on YouTube video I was gonna have him like these little Lego sets and his 50 bucks and take it up to the counter. <laughs> so we get there and I go in the store. I'm like, hey, I called earlier about the Lego sets. And they're like, and they're like oh, yeah. So they go check. They're like, oh, some guy came in here a few minutes ago and they took them all. Oh, no. Drove an hour. <laughs> drove an That's hour. crazy. So That's it's crazy. cool that we have so many resellers and then it's not so cool. Right. <laughs> right. I will say that our area is pretty, pretty stacked up with resellers too, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. I was surprised like how many people we've run into at thrift stores and garage sales and stuff that or red lights or red, <laughs> red, red light. Light. it makes me proud though that there's lots of people you know it's good living that entrepreneur life and working hard and hustling like yeah, yeah I mean there's awesome. there's there's definitely enough for everybody. but he should have left you a couple dang yeah. oh, right? <laughs> and that's the thing too, well, we like, were gonna take all six too so yeah, it's true. Oh, <laughs> karma <laughs> So that's what I love about this community, though, is like as a whole, like so many people, because we've even had people that, you know, even some of our, our people that we've trained to do this stuff, yeah. um, they're like, well, why do you teach other people how to do this? You're creating your own competition. And it's like, that's totally just a mindset thing. Right. You're not creating your own competition because there's so much money to go around. Yeah. And we're, yeah, that's, that's why it's, you know, it doesn't bother me that we live next to people who are well known, like on YouTube and Instagram, that kind of stuff too, because yeah. yeah. it's not like they can go out every day and get all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And it's better, it's better to make friends than enemies with yeah. other resellers too. I mean, we've been to auctions before <clears throat> and if you've ever been to auctions, um, most of the people there are resellers. They're yeah. doing the same thing as you and everybody's competing. Well, if you go up and you just talk to people, you just open your mouth and try and be social and make friends with people, they probably probably will find stuff that they don't deal in that you want to buy and vice versa. You might find stuff that they buy that you don't want to deal in. So and sharing yeah. is caring. I mean, there's 
no losing whatever you you just help other people out because then you're going to get helped out by somebody else it's just karma like it just goes around goes around because if you're the type of person that helps people people will see that you help people and they'll want to help you so i don't see anything bad about helping other people like that for sure that's a that's not a good mindset people should change their mindset restaurants every across the corner. street from each other yeah exactly so, yeah we even had um i i helped a guy get started he came into one of our garage sales and we were liquidating a bunch of extra pallet stuff mm-hmm. and he knew it wasn't just stuff we were getting rid of like it, we we ran a business so i told him about it and he's like man it sounds really cool and that this is before ebay so i taught him the ropes on amazon and he's local which was a huge benefit so i taught him pretty much hands-on how to do it and because of me helping him he ended up finding a deal that he didn't have the cash for. And so we ended up getting this, he tagged me on a post that was on Facebook said, Hey, I don't, I'm not in the position to get these right now. You might want them. Yep. They, nice. were, yep. they were VHS blank tapes. Oh, I saw those. Oh. <laughs> I remember commenting on those when you posted it. <laughs> yeah. So there were 300 packages of them yeah. 300 300 packages it was an hour <laughs> and a half cool. drive time but it was worth it because i paid 200 bucks yeah they, we've been we're almost sold out we're down to our last 80 they've been selling at about 30 bucks a piece oh yeah, oh, yeah. We paid, cool. i think the math was 67 cents each or yeah. something like that so good Whoa. and that was because <laughs> i had that same mentality of it's like i don't right. care if i teach someone else how to do this stuff it's yeah. not yeah so guys we are we're an hour in or over an hour now still 340 people watching should we take maybe like two more questions and then call yeah. it a night yeah no, same sure. i say three more questions okay three more questions three, three. More questions. <laughs> you got one kelly yeah fortunate one three wants to know do you keep track of every piece of inventory individually i've been using google sheets but it's a little overwhelming any tips on keeping track of inventory or sales we used to yeah do every item individually and then yeah. we stopped yeah we do it we do it by lots now so because we're buying so much stuff um we'll do it by how much stuff we or like everything bought in that day and then we will create purchase orders and i can't get too much into tax stuff but we just create purchase orders and then th- that goes to our cpa so we do it by the day by the group amount more than the individual item now mm-hmm. and we always use our credit card when we go to thrift stores mm-hmm. so that we can also track it just in yep. case but garage sales obviously we can't use a credit card so we use cash but there's <laughs> definitely ways to there's ways to track it um do you guys use inventory lab for oh 100 yeah, for we amazon use inventory yeah lab and GoDaddy. yep GoDaddy bookkeeping yep mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. We do that too. We do go daddy book. It's so nice. It just syncs up with everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Let's see. Another two good more, question. Two more questions. Let's see. How many times will we relist an item before we get rid of it? We do good till cancel. We don't. Yeah. So good till cancel, list it, it listed for 30 days and then it relists it. So, um, but we actually don't sit on inventory that long, like two months max is what we try. There's to, a couple of random do. things that have been sitting that yeah. haven't sold and we need to probably just donate or get rid of them. Yeah. Like those yeah. guardians of the galaxy mugs. <laughs> they just never sold. It's like my Star we have Wars some stuff. Like, especially when you first start out, you're going to make some mistakes and buy a few things that just mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. sell. Or I, I probably have 50 pounds of clothes that I just probably need to get, a, get rid of. But um, yeah, it sucks. James drift with another, off. Another super chat. Thank nice, you, James. James. He said side, side hustle pros Thank definitely you, subscribing. Yeah, guys, awesome. I'll, what I'll do is um, we, we had to turn this video on fast, but at, as soon as this video or as soon as we end this video, um, I will put a link to side hustle pros YouTube in the description of this video. Please go subscribe to them. Their channel is awesome. Appreciate it's like, that. Thank you. It's like, they seem like really cool people. <laughs> we, are, we are really cool people, Ali. <laughs> I can't wait to go hang out with you guys because we're definitely coming to Oregon because I've never been. So yeah, nice. you know, Summertime. and Seattle's not that far from us. I'm so surprised you guys haven't ever been there. Yeah, to Oregon no. or Seattle, like the coffee, ever. the coffee scene, and the coffee capital of America. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's far though. It's so exciting. It is far. It is really far. We just uh, came down to um, Miami. What, like three weeks ago? Yeah, for the cruise. That was a really long plane ride. <laughs> oh, that's right. I want to go on a cruise with you guys. Yeah. yeah. We need to do like a big re- everybody <gasps> gets together. 
Heck yeah, let's do it. Like the whole boat. Oh like the, the whole boat. There's enough resellers to do Guys, it. I can feel oh, there's... it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll tell you what, because you know that's the that's the cruise we just did. We had about 50 of our members on there. Yes. Easily collab a cruise and book yes. up the whole ship. Let's do it. We that can absolutely awesome. do it. Free yeah. bird. Free bird, $2. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. And then so we said one more question, right? Yeah. You want to choose one? Though? Look, everyone's so supportive. We have three, almost 350 viewers right now. You guys wow. are crazy. crazy you guys. And it was on the link. Nobody got the notification. Let's just call it 1,300 watchers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. One more question. All right. Quick questions. Go drum roll. Allie, do you work out with Ryan? Not anymore. I run now. So my my family, they don't have like the strongest heart. So I decided that I was gonna do lots of cardio. And I read, you know, a scientific study that said whenever you do cardio, you should do it four times a week for at least 45 minutes a day. And I was like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Yeah. And running was literally the only thing I could think of that was easy and convenient. I could just like throw in my shoes yeah. and go because we have a community with like a long sidewalk so I can run my miles and it's really well lit if I want to run at night yeah. and we have opposite crazy. running schedules yeah. I, I run in the morning and Allie runs at night because it helps me Maybe sleep the same thing like yeah. he goes to the gym in the morning and I hate mornings so <laughs> oh me too <laughs> in the afternoon or the evening yep. that's funny no I brought yeah. it up because like I I like <laughs> That's the one thing we cannot do together <laughs> is work out. That happened like two times. In yeah, it was just like, he's like, your form could be better. Shout out to Eric, the college picker, watching from his van using the McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yes, <laughs> yes, Eric, Eric. Eric, Eric, you freeload off that Wi-Fi, buddy. We love yeah. it. <laughs> McDonald's has the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, so I run the four times a week, about four miles every time. Sometimes I try to do a little more, just depending if I do like a little extra, like quarter mile or something. But that's about where I am right now. And I have orthotics in my shoes so that my knees aren't destroyed. Nice. Yeah. I just I just dislocated my knees. So <gasps> oh, I saw that. I saw yeah. that. Is it, it really sucks. <laughs> she literally danced her kneecap out of place. <laughs> uh, Literally. Ice, ice. Oh wow. my god. Yeah. It's getting better though. All, All right, right, guys, so let's do one more last question last and then oh, yeah. we'll we'll call it a night. Let's see. Oh, this is a good question. We'll do this one. We found a good one. Yeah. What do you guys think about promoted listings on eBay? Ooh. I'm so torn. Kitty cat Mac. I'm kind of torn too right now, honestly. I eBay needs to needs to get their promoted listings more fine-tuned I think personally we do run promotions on our listings we run sales on our store so we'll do like eight eight percent ten percent discount sometimes on some of those other you know more stale items and uh, promoted listings we also run we run a lot of that on our like other account our wholesale account when we have like you know 70 100 of one item We'll run a promotion on that so that it drives it back up to the top. What I don't like about promoted listings right now is as soon as they changed it so that you could promote single item used clothing, every single reseller on eBay jumped on top of it. And it's driven that it's driven the the uh, the promotion price up so high now. Where if you want to promote your like shirt or something. If you're if you wanted to sell, you're sometimes over ten percent in the fee for promoted listings, plus your eBay fee, plus your Am or plus your PayPal fee. So you're at twenty three percent before you ship the item. So yeah. the, the margins, I think it's really hurt the margins, and eBay needs to just figure that out a little bit better, in my opinion. But I'm happy for it. Um, I will say that I think they are getting better. And their analytics are getting a bit better. When they first released it, our sales actually took a pretty steep dive, and now they've started to pick back up. So, you know, everybody's working to try to try to get the right the right structure there. But yeah, same here. Like we we definitely noticed a big dive in sales. Oh, but um, it's starting to climb back up. Mm -hmm. And I do use the. I think I probably run a sale every two weeks mm -hmm. i'll just do it for like a week at a time or something um but yeah 
But it is a tool. You guys, you have to remember that. That promoted yeah. listings tool is there. eBay wants you to use it. So if you're torn about using it, my, my advice would be take some of your listings, try it on some of those listings and see what happens, and try to work out something that works well for you. But eBay wouldn't put it there if they didn't want you guys to use it. So definitely right. use it. Yeah. Right. That's it, right? No All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me say this, guys. Thank you so much to Chaz and Trista for hanging out with us. That was very cool of them. Um, please remember, go. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description. Go and subscribe to their channel. They put out they put out some of the best reseller content on YouTube for sure. So I definitely, look for thank you. Is really what matters. Ah, uh, they're okay. They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for having us. We had fun. Yeah, this was awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, oh, we nice went over 350 guys. views. Sorry, yeah. Kelly, but I just got really excited when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, but, and uh, I think I think one of the best videos I think that we've done on our channel was that Garage Sale Wars with you guys. That was a that good was one. Fun. It was a really good one. It got a lot of views, so I think we should do another one like a that. A rematch. Maybe we do like a Thrift Wars because you guys don't have garage sales right now. Yeah, we'd be pretty yeah. slim pickings. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> would. <laughs> yeah, we're down, for, right we're down for Thrift. Yeah, let's so, do it. Let's do it. Cool. cool. Well, thank you again, guys. Thank you to everybody, all 350 of you, for yeah. hanging out with us. We love you guys. and We uh, wouldn't do it if it wasn't for you guys. So thank yeah. you, guys. I mean, yeah. You guys make our YouTube channel what it even is. Thank you for your support. And then always, guys, give us ideas on how we can improve our channel or what sort of content, what kind of videos you guys want us to do. I know a lot of people have been asking for us to do another thrift store date night video. So. <laughs> that was fun. I can't wait. That so was awesome. We will do that. Um, we're going to be doing some more fun stuff like garage sailing and Christmas sweaters. <laughs> yeah, we should go on our date night on a weekend. Yeah. The restaurant like a busy, busy area. Yeah. 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 And then remember, guys, if you want to go and buy the Christmas sweaters that we wore, all of the money will go to a charity or we'll go buy dog food and drop it off at a charity. So, But yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks, we'll guys. See you next time. Peace out, guys. Yeah. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye.